What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, we're gonna be going over how you can make insane amounts of stubs being no money spent in the game. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, show your love and appreciation, help with the algorithm, it's all free. Also, make sure your notifications on. We have the membership down below for all the stub methods that I use, no money spent, so you can finish collections and be a stub millionaire. Let's get into the banger. If you wanna complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so I've been putting out a lot of videos on how to make stubs and how I've been slowly building my stub count. Now, all total so far this year, I have made over 680,000 stubs, no money spent. But what I did was I start purchasing bundles and that's not what you want to do. Don't spend your stubs, okay? I've spent over 500,000 stubs trying to pull Otani, Michael Trout, and it just haven't happened this year. My only good pulls come from the headliner packs. Now, this Friday coming up, we do have a roster update. So if you're interested on the best investments, drop a thumbs up on the video right now to let me know and make sure that your notifications is turned on. Now, let's go over some prior investments that you could have made a lot of stubs on and also the events that i told you about yesterday now if you look at my completed orders you can see ty france an investment that i told you about a few videos ago i was able to sell him for 1219 stubs okay so this ty france if you go to the next page ty france ty france and then a little later, his price started dropping down. Right here, another tight France, another tight France, another tight France, another tight France. That is over 10,000 stubs that I made off of one single investment that got supercharged. So if you follow in these videos, you will have an opportunity to get cards for cheap and then be able to sell them for super, super high value. This is the best channel when it comes to no money spent exactly how to make the best stub. Like I said, once I get over 100,000 stubs, then I start investing into my team, okay? And we are slowly knocking out some of the collections little at a time. So Ty France was an investment that you could have made a lot of stubs and also events. So if you come down here to events, you're gonna see I have 30 wins already and you don't have to play the game for four to five hours a day. Now the rewards, we were able to pull this 92 overall David Price that's selling for 50 plus thousand stubs, okay? In the other pack, I didn't pull the high round, but these cards are still over 10,000 stubs. It's a lot of value. If you were to get lucky in this one and the other one, that would be over 85,000 stubs. Plus, you're going to get stubs just by playing the game. Now, later on, if you are subscribed to this channel, I will be posting a video in the next 48 hours on how to use timing hitting for events and battle royale because timing hitting is way better than pci placement you will never be in the wrong spot and also your perfect perfects have a greater chance of either being a base hit or a home run so test that out and you will see that it makes an average player like myself look way better this is the first time I ever did an event in two years and I got 30 wins way before the process was over. So you can get a lot of stubs through that. You can get a lot of stubs through investment. Now, if you go to Ty France on the marketplace, he's a 78 overall. A 78 overall, the quick sell is only about 150 stubs. So if you have this in your binder before the supercharge and you were to quick sell him, you will only get 125 stubs. So if you have 10 of them, that's a little over a thousand stubs. But if you paying attention to this channel and you invested in them, like I said, get five to 15 different cards or you use my exchange method that I showed you guys a few times on this channel, 
and you pulled yourself a few of these, you walked away with super, super easy and free stubs in the game. So he has 15 hours left, and then this same card, he could go up to an 80 overall, which would be a goal, but the quick sell loan net this year is still under the amount of value that you can get for this card right now so the best thing to do with the way that he is hitting this year and i will cover it in the roster update let his price drop down to about 450 500 and then go reinvest in them but right now sell 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 now another important stub tip is to always make sure that when you lock players in you get rid of all the duplicates that's over two thousand stubs unless you are investing in somebody so if they are a sellable card sell them off and try to get as many nine sell cards as possible that will help your stub count grow over time also make sure every day that you get on the game that you take 10 minutes to do all your moments take all your stub opportunities given to you and then use the exchange 10 minutes a day i will go on the exchange i will take some bronzes i will take some comments and then i will exchange them you never know who might get supercharged but it seems like sds is aiming at more common and bronze type players so it's best for you to keep six to ten of a lot of them cards check the stats on them pay attention to this channel so i can tell you who has a chance over the past three years to go up or who have been on a hot streak recently that's going to help you make smart decisions when it comes to investments now the yankees currently have one of the top four bullpens in the mlb so i went last night and i bought myself three more chapmans since Chapman is only going for a thousand stubs and he has the potential eventually because of the way that he is pitching and he's a left-handed pitcher and he usually has outlier, he usually will get up to the 85 overall range. No matter if he drops back down or not through the season, he usually will get up to 84, 85 overall range. That is a 3,000 quick sell. So as long as you go invest into him now, it might not be this roster update or the next roster update, you are giving yourself the possibility of a 1,500 stub profit on each and every investment. Now, I'm going to give you guys the best four to six investments coming up over the next few days with the biggest profit margin. So stay locked to this channel, and I appreciate all the love and support y'all been giving me. Road to 15K, let's go.